What it do, it's your man, Mr. O, with the info, giving what you need to know. And today, we're going to discuss the recent mass shooting up in Buffalo, New York. Peyton Grindon, age 18, drove from Conklin, New York, to Buffalo in a low-income, predominantly African-American neighborhood where there's a supermarket. As he entered the supermarket, he shot and gunned down 10 people, possible 11. Now, this is an ongoing issue of new race shooter, old racism. As we have come along in the society and culture, we have seen throughout the whole entire century that racism had played a part in our general makeup. Ever since the late 60s, when affirmative action and the Equality Act was passed, we thought we was moving in the direction of progressiveness with the equality and everybody can be judged by the character of one's skin. Being ceased, only being characterized by one's character so we have a resurgence of white nationalist ideologies being played in the part getting carried out by young Caucasian men extremists who want to fulfill these ideologies of black homicide now Peyton Grendon joins another list, a long list of other individuals like in 2015, Denim Wolf. Gunman kills 10 at Buffalo supermarket in racist attack. President Biden called for a thorough investigation and said there was no harbor for the hate-filled domestic terrorism the 18 year old white gunman who pleaded not guilty left behind in a manifesto now a black kid could actually tote guns on instagram youtube and everything between he'll have the whole entire national guard fbi and secret service at his door and they'll use said evidence against him in court now you mean to tell me they got all this evidence of him being on the internet showing him uh want to go ahead and carry out set acts of violence and nobody even better uh let's continue 10 people are killed and three are wounded in a mass shooting at a buffalo grocery store a teenage gunman entrance by a white supremacist ideology known as replacement theory open fire at a supermarket in buffalo on saturday methodically shooting and killing 10 people and injuring three more almost all of them black and one of the deadliest racist massacres in recent american history the authorities identified the gunman as 18 year old Peyton s grinder of conklin a small town in new york's rural southern tier mr grinder drove more than 200 miles to mount his attack which also live streamed the police said a chilling video feed that appeared designed to promote his sense the agenda. Now, mind you, this man actually drove 200 miles to another city in upstate New York, pretty much to go into an area that's predominantly black. So this was targeted. And word of mouth is he, he actually went there two months prior to carry out this assault and agenda. So I tell you, they watching who they want to watch and everybody else, they just let them go to the side, carry their agenda so they can have more sensational acts like this. All I'm saying is, hey, yo, if you black and you see what's going on in this, uh, in this country and what's been going on for the past decade with the slams of Tamir Rice, Trayvon Martin, and all these 
these other criminal acts now, both behind the badge and not behind the badge. And we just got to be more coherent as black people that even though we have came far along with these so-called amendments and rights, we still have to keep in mind that now all people are with us, even with our own skin color. And just to go ahead and say this, we have to understand that we have 